you know what then I'm going to just a little bit go down with the volume on the on the on the music how's it now hey UTP Marci Che, how you doing I'm glad you're here thanks for stopping by and <laughs> I look fine yes yes how's my hair <laughs> <laughs> you know speak americano don't worry about it but i'm glad you're here anyway <laughs> yeah so um okay let's see oh yay thank you so much for the follow alan duriel <laughs> I'm, I'm checking both because um, I always bring the phone since I don't have the big screen at the moment and I try not to miss the chat and I don't know how's that gonna work if I'm come here but um, and you guys just tell me how's the sound how's my voice uh, did, did I need adjustment and you know what I'm gonna just turn it a little bit towards me how's like that how's like that and I'm gonna work like here <laughs> uh funny view. no no it's uh actually it's no winter as you can as, as you can see i'm a t-shirt and shorts and uh and it's sunny very sunny outside and i'm already sweating a little bit so perfect even though it's december but it's very very hot uh, i think if i'm saying in a celsius uh we're about like 30 around 30 32 so that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, you can hear me. Awesome. Yo, so I'm not gonna change anything and uh, I'm just gonna start working on the front. But before I do anything, I, I have to put a lift under the bike and um, in that case, I'm able to remove the front wheel and the front shocks actually. And uh, I just keep bring my phone with me anywhere I go. And, and I learned that before because uh, I just watched the video, how's the sound, how's the everything, and and I realized it how loud can be if I put down the tool. So I'm gonna be a little more careful. And I was thinking, am I gonna put some rubber mat all all over this one so it's not gonna be that crazy loud um, if I put it down? So I'm gonna just try to think. How can I put the, the lift under? Because it's kind of difficult because the engine is lower than actually the the frame. Um, I have to find something out. <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky because I'm here. <laughs> yes, actually it's true. Yes, I can ride the whole year. Um, down here, down here in South Florida, but when I was up there in um, Daytona Beach uh, last February or March, that was freezing and that was um, around maybe 10, 10 Celsius, maybe 15, but for a long ride, 4, 5, four, four, five hour ride, that was, that was cold and, uh, and my jacket is so thick, thick leather and also some in, um, insulation in it also and my other rider bodies was wearing a uh, mesh jacket but protective protector also but you know the mesh is just ridiculous and i think they was close to freeze to death <laughs> almost good almost completely flat but it's lifting so it will work <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, and uh, how's the weather up in Orlando? Uh, we were planning to go up, and uh, but of course I have uh, many things to do, so I wasn't able to, but uh, how's the weather?
<laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, it's also yeah, still as you can see, it's still Florida, so definitely uh, warm. I don't like this here, so I'm not gonna put it that way. Um, Yeah, this is not winter, and uh, when you see on the street, um, it's no snow, and they uh, dressing up the palm trees for <laughs> make it out a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's different, way different. Okay, now, what if I'm gonna lose this? Just a little. Check. Yes, I need to put it back a little bit. And uh, need more like this. Okay. And uh, back in Hungary, it's still snowing, uh, or still uh, is a visible snow anywhere, or in just maybe in a, in a forest and uh, maybe in the Matra. Yeah, I saw a few photos that was that was snowing nicely. Okay, I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna give another try. It's not that bad. <laughs> I'm not doing what, why, why I cannot believe her. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I thought you live in uh, Budapest. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Now. Let me go back a little bit. No. So <laughs> I have to find it. Rusty bolt. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I think I'm going to change back a little bit the, the size of the letters because um, I cannot, no, yeah, I need to come a little bit closer but uh, I'm going to change it back so I can read it from here. I'm not going to do it now. Okay, I need some need to <coughs> put the boards. Use this one, drink a little bit like this. <laughs> Oh, phone. <clears throat> hey, Kores. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks a lot. But you're going to work, right? You said that you're going to work, so you cannot be here, unfortunately. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're right, Lexon, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I'm glad you're here, Karas. That's why I'm saying Karas because your name is so. Are the lyrics? How you say? Yeah, I think that uh, are the lyrics. Uh, Lexon, uh, I like it because um, for several years I um, I tried uh, the Starbucks um, breakfast blend, and every once in a while I'm, uh, uh, we buy some what is uh, flavored, like uh, a little bit with the mint in it or. Um, or a cream brulee or uh, some salted caramel but, but uh, almost every time we drink that's also what I'm drinking now that's uh, that's a Starbucks and, and I like it strong enough and and when I need it when I need it uh, I'm buying just uh, just a double espresso from uh, Cubans that's a lot of all around basic like I know at least five or six places who makes pretty good one <laughs> let's wake you up Wake you up absolutely. <laughs> oh yes, yes, he's working. Uh, it's a afternoon shift. Yeah, he's working. Okay, just come off. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, everything is so stuck together. Even just uh, this is just uh, this is the brake hose holding the little clamp. It's supposed to just come out easily, and and uh, everything is just tight. And uh, next one, I need uh, a Phillips. <laughs> Thanks again guys, I'm really glad you were able to make it and hear with me and listening my bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that makes me happy anyway, so thanks a lot. This is a... No, 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 no don't, don't fall. Almost. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? Um, luckily, my wife, she's also Hungarian, and she's able to make all those good Hungarian foods. And you can name it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm lucky because she can, she can make it. In that case, yeah, of course, miss it, but um, mm, that's that. Uh, that depends the area where you wanna eat, um, which area of uh, Hungary, you know. But uh, she, oh, she just do it that way. How I like it, so no problem. <laughs> and I think she's smiling now. Obviously, she's watching this. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> ah, yes, a good, ki a, a good kotyogos, uh, kotyogos kávé. Uh, and how was in Chicago? Did you like it? You liked it? Page, okay. Come from holidays. Oh my god, this brake is also stuck a little bit. Mm. I'm gonna remove it anyway, somehow. You know what? How should I do it? <coughs> I'm playing with it a little bit. Yeah, the, removing the, the, the brake caliper is so stuck on the, on the rotor. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. 
Uh, thank you so much. Other lyrics. Yes, I don't think so. Uh, no, it's gonna be not that long. No, 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 no. A <laughs> uh, few hours maybe, two, three. As long as I'm able to remove it and clean it and see how it goes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was. That was. Uh, oh, I think. Yeah, it looks like I need to uh, rebuild the the brake calipers also. I mean, only one, but the two piston in it, and it's so rusty. You can see the piston it coming out, and it's full of rust. So, obviously, I need to rebuild that one too. But it's actually good for me, not really good for the owner. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm just gonna come here a little bit, just a little bit. I I like my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, the Chicago, that's just, um, for me, not just for me, but I think that's a very dangerous city. Um, that's a crime city. <laughs> oh, you move back on the rail. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to change it. Uh, that uh, The letters are too small over here for me. But I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it for the next stream. <laughs> thanks, thanks Kares. <laughs> uh, you know what, what my uh, wife said? Uh, I, how she said that? Oh, hey movie star. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Really? Oh my god. I didn't even heard that. I mean, not really watching uh, uh, news on a TV, but that's. Are you serious? Oh my god. No, I didn't hear that, funny Huh. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, all, all around the states, every state, you can hear some serious stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's sad. <sighs> Let's see, I, I tried to miss any any chat. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, if I miss any. Um, <laughs> Let's go back a little. <laughs> okay. Now. <laughs> Not to worry, Anandoril. It's gonna be come back soon. It's gonna be snowing again. Okay, I'm gonna remove this little cover. I hope I can. It's a little plastic uh, chrome cap what is actually sitting in the the boat but is actually full of rust also yeah I'm not surprised but uh, <coughs> now this is not a good head um, okay oh yes I forgot that <laughs> that was loud yeah seriously I'm going to uh, put a full rubber mat on this because it's very loud. <laughs> okay, it's still good. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. And I remove this.
Oh, uh, yes, uh, I just, I just uh, figured what you're saying. So you were in Tampa for two weeks. And what did you do over there? You were in the bush gardens? <laughs> just for a little fun? Or uh, what did you do over there? And it's not that far. Uh, Tampa, Orlando, maybe two hours. Maybe, no, not even. <laughs> All right. Um, Oh, you bought a car. Oh. I mean, not you. And what kind of car he bought? And uh, you guys find it on eBay or on Craigslist? Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I need a bigger arm. Because I think it was never removed this uh, axle, so to break it. Okay, much better. Craigslist, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I had so many bad, um, you know, when even if I just want to uh, sell something or buy something, and. Uh, they're just liars and they never show up when, when you set up a meeting and uh, why the hell just bother calling me and texting me back and forth and and you know what when they're sending a text message like you know like midnight or uh, or or even after midnight they just and without say anything hey or good evening or sorry to bother you this late do you still have it yeah i still have it <laughs> uh, just uh, I think in the last time that I was down there in Miami, uh, I was wanted to buy uh, something, and uh, and of course the guy didn't show up. I drove down uh, and waiting for him like over 30 minutes, almost 40 minutes, and he never showed up. And when I left, he was just emailed me, why you go there? Because you're supposed to talk about it when you when you when you're going to come down and you know even from <laughs> the last day we already spoke about uh, the what time i'm gonna be here so anyway i i'm quick quick uh, searching on ebay i mean quick searching on uh, craigslist it's just not just not worth it okay Ugh. Nasty. Okay. I think I deserve a little break. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, 2K? Oh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I forgot to say hi to nobody. I mean, or somebody. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sometimes you can you can get a, a good deal for two two k two thousand dollar, but yeah, sometimes uh, even though if you go with a mechanic, so, yeah, it was happened with me too. And I was helping for the guy, and uh, could you just could you check around? I mean, you know, I don't have um, X-ray eyes. I cannot see inside the engine and inside the transmission. If you buy it, and you know, months later the, the car. Uh, dies on you you know that's not my fault but um but you know i'm i'm happy to help you just check the main things and suspension whatever and um tiny break yes <laughs> oh that was a towing company so obviously nobody showed up to pick up the car paying the fine and they just they have the right to sell the car after a after a Two, three months, maybe five months. I don't even know um, correctly, but yes, they have the right to sell it. Yeah, <laughs> bad. Uh, 
Hey there, hey there, Killer Squirrel. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Sometimes I have a difficulty to read the, the names. <laughs> I think you guys did it on purpose. <laughs> but, on process. Try to memorize and learn all, all the names and uh, try not to be an ass and say it badly or, or wrong. Okay, I'm gonna do a cat. Almost. I was able to. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and also, yes, I, I did check the gas tank. And unfortunately, uh, still, still uh, filled up with coke because uh, still very rusty. Came out some dirt and rust, very, very thick rust is uh, already uh, was able to uh, remove, but uh, but still there's plenty on the surface. So uh, I, I just pulled it back and uh, maybe this afternoon after the stream I'm going to start. Uh, um, filling up with uh, with the BD pellets and start shaking and make it up, make it loose up a little bit. So hopefully that will work. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying the best rust uh, remover or resolver, but a uh, dissolver, but uh, uh, has some magic uh, chemicals in it. What actually can help. So, uh, we'll see, hopefully, hopefully um, I'm able to clean the gas tank, other than otherwise I have to find a used one and um, that's a good thing when you buy a used one, if, if the descending photos has the gas tank look inside and, uh, uh, but this one is horrible, in horrible shape, unfortunately. <laughs> Now I'm um, just going to remove this. The bolt is inside. Oh, okay. Just looks like a half millimeter. here. You know what? I'm not gonna just remove it. Because um, no, no, no space, I'm not gonna not able to fit in. But I have to remove it because it's still attached to the uh, frame, I mean the fork. I think he wants this yellow uh, scratched fairing anyway because it looks really bad. Um, you can buy, you can buy better gasoline. Um, what's the name of the gas station? Sonoko. No, 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 not Sonoko. Oh my god. Um, let me, I'm, I'm thinking about the name of the gas station, but they have all... The, the, the lowest octane, but they have, that's 96. And, uh, and the, the highest octane is, I think, 126. But it's you know that's definitely for uh, for race race cars only, and uh, and also they have uh, um, uh, 
uh, lead it. Yeah, I have to think on these words because I'm not really use these words often. So it, those are most of those gasolines are leaded. And it's, uh, you cannot really put in uh, just a regular factory uh, stock engine and you know, uh, stock and uh, clogging the, the, the catalytic converter. But it's really good. And what's the name of the gas station? Come on. Um, hmm. I don't remember. But if I remember, uh, if, if coming back to my uh, mind, I'm gonna tell you. Okay? But it's it's not, not just a regular gas station because and also it's it's pretty pricey. Uh, the 96 is uh, a gallon like eight dollar, so a little bit different, but it's definitely a, a, a good stuff. So okay. now I still try to use my head. What's the name of the gas station? It's not, not really important, but um, <laughs> like this shadow, uh, uh, what you can get, almost uh, a lot of gas stations already have that uh, kind of gasoline, uh, non-ethanol 91, that's, that's very good for uh, just a regular stock, like this is a low compression engine anyway, and uh, the 91 is good enough, because if you put the 93, uh, it's not really available uh, in non-ethanol. But uh, that's that's a main main thing. But it's, you try to avoid, uh, especially here, uh, from all of your combustible engines, the ethanol is is, is not good. And um, so that's a that's a 91 on ethanol. Sanoco has it. And um, hmm, which one? A few other yeah, gas station already have that. And I rather put that in there than if I'm going to the um, V power from the shell. So but because it's also uh, ethanol uh, in it, like 10%. So it's no good. Yeah. So if you, if you, and also in my car, you know what, believe it or not, uh, all of my cars, uh, the gas mileage was way better with the, with the non-ethanol gasoline. Even the RS6, the, uh, the A8 Audi, and you know, those are both V8, and the other one is uh, turbo, the other one is non-turbo, but um, I got with the regular gas, 93, uh, on highway, I got like 26, maybe 26 and a half. And when I put the 91 non-ethanol in it, I was I was like 80 mile per hour. That was the average uh, uh, um, speed, and I got 28.5 uh, gas uh, the mile per gallon. So that's 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 a big difference. Yeah. So okay, and this one is also. <laughs> a little extension, and I just realized that if I put the tool down to the that little wood piece, it's also quiet. I 
on turn signal, down. Okay. <clears throat> Try to remove that, not this one. I don't think I ever used a seven millimeter um, hex. What is this um, head? Because always six or eight. I think seven millimeter. It's only like a, a, some of the German cars is the German uh, the brake brake caliper. Oh, Cyber Monkey! Thank you so much for your follow. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it, and I'm just going to play with this. Uh, I need a longer one again, a bigger one. It's a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yes, you know. And again, I can say that and every, every time uh, I'm going to mention it, that's uh, thanks for Osmo because that was he said I should do it. Oh my god. Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna force it. I just going to use this. I think I have a battery. It's way easier. No need to force it. Yes, I think that was fucking loud. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't do it on purpose. But at least quick. That's it. And now, before you remove both bolts, it's one on the top, one in the bottom, you have to hold the four because as you guys can see was I removed the, the top bolt that was already start coming out. So Oh, wait a minute. I have to move this a little bit because it's in a way completely. There we go. Oh, jeez. Really? There you go. And now, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang there, hang in there. I'm gonna show you this. Yeah, that's the reason why I have to work on it. Try to show you. Uh, this is actually the dust seal, uh, but other than that, it's still leaking, and it's only oil all over on the surface. So obviously the the oil seal is also bad. So <clears throat> this is the first one. And. <laughs> Oh, hey, Ved Leslie. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm going to uh, replace it. I ordered uh, a new uh, seals and uh, I was wanted to buy, maybe I'm going to re rebuild completely the fork, but uh, it's not necessary because, you know, the bike is only 10,000 mile and I don't need to I don't think I need to replace uh, the, the sliders. What's uh, actually inside the inside the fork? There's one in the bottom, one in the top. Uh, but they're definitely gonna fill up with new oil. Uh, going to clean it inside, and um, I'm gonna put back the new seal, and that's it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's really, really in a bad shape. And uh, you know what? He's so good, the uh, owner, P Peter, uh, or Inca Pedro. I'd uh, rather say Pedro because he's, um, he's, he's Latin. And um, he was so, you know, oh, I really appreciate it. You're going to put this together for me. Oh, my God, I'm glad you, d you do it. And yeah, of course, uh, <laughs> I, I was glad because uh, he called me and uh, he dropped the bike for me. So uh, good for me, too, not just for him. And I, you know, I still like it, even though it's rusty and ugly, but um, all motorcycle, basically, I like all of them, all kinds, all brands, and uh, no, 
Now I'm going to remove the, um, the other side. Should I, should I use this again? <laughs> or should I just mute the microphone <laughs> until I remove it? What do you think? Oh, you know what? I still need to um, remove this little uh, turn signal. <laughs> no, 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 uh, uh, you know what, that was happened um, when we were on the, on the track, um, oh, this is so not going to come off, uh, so anyway, the dirt bike was losing the, the oil pretty badly, and uh, they had no uh, regular fork fluid, but it's actually, you know, uh, you have to use. We had, we had just a closed uh, auto parts store, and we just go out and just bought just regular hydraulic flu fluid. And uh, yeah, of course, you, you were able to felt it. It's different, but, but better than without any oil. So. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to fill up with, uh, with the factory uh, fork fluid, the hydraulic fluid. Not that different, the viscosity, but a little bit, yeah, so you're right. And uh, because all, fo all fork is uh, different, um, usually I'm going, I have a lot of uh, service books different bikes and um, but I'm gonna go after uh, what's the what's the correct refill oil quantity so uh, you know it's not good if you overfill is if you if you less uh, the oil is the oil level is low also no good so I'm just gonna look it up or if I cannot find it cor correctly on the internet I'm going to um, call my friend he's uh, working at Tariva Yamaha and um, he can give me all these answers, you know, in no time. So if I'm not gonna figure out by myself, then I'm gonna call him. And I have to just come like this because the chat on my forehead. <laughs> yeah, this way better. And the microphone is so close. <laughs> Oh, funny, it uh, wasn't loud, that thing? Okay, then I'm gonna not gonna mute it because that's just only one board basically, no big deal. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, I already, before I, uh, yeah, actually when I, I was already uh, making some uh, YouTube videos and um, one of the happy hour I was asking uh, Pishti about uh, what kind of uh, microphone he can recommend and he was said it uh, the Sennheiser M M -key, MK600 I think but anyway I still still uh, still on my wish list so uh, I'm going to wait for that but what I just bought that uh, Boya is also a shotgun microphone and the previous one I was used that was um, Audio Technica but uh, the battery was so I mean like three or four hour I had to replace the battery on that one and uh, that was a little little battery in it and this one has a nine volt battery and, uh, and also has a uh, filters to uh, actually f three different kind of filters I'm able to use so <laughs> yeah this is a Boya uh, BYVM 190P that's the that's the correct name of it so the the, the, the boy is kind of good and uh, I, I read a lot of uh, reviews and feedbacks and my other choice was the, the Rode uh, actually an SI using the same he has the same camera what I have the Alpha 6300 uh, 6, and, and also I saw on uh, several photos he has a Rode uh, shotgun microphone on it and uh, but that was uh, that was uh, took like uh, no, no, no. The problem was I didn't bought it because I only find uh, mono. When this is stereo, uh, the microphone, I, you know, I, I like it. If if it's not going back in a in a in a quality, I have to go up and uh, and gain the quality, not just losing. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm I'm really glad. And you know what? And the first three, um, 
I used the microphone was plugged into the computer and now I just plugged it into the camera because that's why I bought the camera that was my other reason why I bought that one um, <clears throat> because I'm able to plug it in uh, extension extension um, well, I mean external uh, microphone because the the 6000 I was, wasn't able to that's what I was looking for but you know what if I'm going to buy something I need definitely need something so uh, oh hey Vizes Ninjonkovac <laughs> thanks for stopping by <laughs> I'm glad you're here my good helper <laughs> uh, you know what I don't think I just I, I think I forgot to put this on a um, uh, VR forum this stream yes no 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 I was I was thinking about it and uh, that was in my mind in the morning and I just completely forgot so that's on me but <laughs> and now make some noise forgot this clamp. I have to remove this first. Not that one. Okay, not just like this. Just a second. I'm coming back. You know what? I'm gonna put this here. So I can read it. Hey, how you doing, Bill? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, this is stuck. Ah. on the fork you mean these oh yeah that's a corrosion <laughs> yes you're absolutely right <laughs> I mean that the salt box is just too bright though uh, yeah it's very very corroded and uh, and usually that's the the people do it here if it's getting corroded they just spray it ugly ugly black or it doesn't matter the color, but they just, they're not, you know, sanding or just prepare before, uh, before spraying. Just, just put on something and we're going to cover it and we can sell it. Sell it as a project. No, no, no. Sell it as a custom. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. But, um, I don't think he wants me to touch it because if I would touch it, uh, definitely, you know, this, this is a, uh, a coating, a clear coat. So I have to be completely uh, uh, sending off, and then uh, and spray it back again with uh, with some kind of uh, two compound epoxy, uh, two compound uh, clear coat. <laughs> Linkson, I like this uh, emote. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah. So. Huh. I just uh, checked my phone and it show, shows me uh, zero. No, actually, it came back. I was a zero viewer on the chat, on the live. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> now, back to the business. Stop fooling around, man. Okay, what is it? This is it.
Yeah, as you can see, it's already coming. So that's why oh, you always have to hold it. Uh, because some of them, uh, actually mine, when I did the, the complete front-end uh, front uh, upgrade and uh, modification, I always do um, using a tiny little screwdriver and just sticking in here where is an opening on a, on, a, on a clamps, top and the bottom, and do it like this slowly. But this is, this is coming out. There you go. Yeah, see, that's just a little screwdriver. Put it in a, a triple three and uh, open it. Just the minimum what is actually uh, needed. And this one is actually how nice it is, um, but still leaking. So that ma doesn't matter in this case. Yeah, so uh, the inner side, how I see is how shiny, and this is how it's supposed to look like. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the corroded side. All right, out, 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 out. And uh, actually, I have no idea where I put my phone. Oh. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> what are you talking about? What is a lie? <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna start with. So it doesn't matter which one I'm going to start. Yes, I just tried to move this a little bit, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, see, it's already all already, already can see around the, the oil, so and it's moving so easily, so uh, lost a lot of uh, oil already. Oh, oh yes, my phone was like. <laughs> yeah. So, oh yes. I made another mistake. I and uh, when I was on a, a part store, I was I was thinking about it. Try not to forget change the title, and I just did. I'm still doing the carburetor work, huh? Idiot. Am I able to open it without major? Where I have to go? Uh, hmm. Just give me a quick second, guys. I have to change it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you don't need that. Commercial, we don't need a commercial. <sighs> Dashboard. I always, you know, give me a hard time to just uh, find what actually I'm looking for. Okay, I found it. I have to change it. Looks cool when I'm working on a fork and it's still showing carburetor. <laughs> All right, then. And save, update, there you go. I think it's, let's start reboot those form forks, front forks. I think, uh, I think I changed it. All right, now, I will need a bucket, some kind of, when I'm able to remove a release and uh, drain the oil. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this.
leaking. You know what? I'm gonna change this position. And also, I'm gonna move this too. How about now? <laughs> Yes. Look, I think you can see it. Try not to drop the liquid, but it's. Uh, I don't know. I can do it. Maybe that is full, full uh, uh, liquid inside and oil all over. And uh, I'm just gonna remove the safety clip and uh, removing the other and then guys if you guys have any questions be brave and ask <laughs> and okay and in the meantime try to find this uh, not that one no not that one I need a longer uh, tool I think this is it Oh, you did? Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> uh, I was kind of loud. I think the microphone was very close. <laughs> and this one, when you remove the top, you have to keep push it down because the spring uh, pushing this uh, top bolt and it's... Uh, I'm gonna split in my eye. <laughs> I'm going to put <laughs> no, actually it's not really leak not I mean still have oil in it but um, I'm gonna just clean it this is actually a um, a pipe piece but it's holding uh, the spring oh nasty <laughs> okay, I'll just put it out. Nice and gray. And the next one is a little washer. It's also one gonna be the spring oh my god it's so small <laughs> the last uh, the last uh, fork when I was rebuilt that was the dirt bike uh, uh, CR500 and that was like more than a double the length <laughs> yeah and it's so soft eh, it is what it is Okay, fork, I mean spring. <laughs> Look, I tried to show you. Pull it out like this. <laughs> and even though actually just um, 10,000 miles, but still the age, you know. Almost, almost 20 year old. So I don't think that oil was ever changed. So I'm just gonna 
pump it out the rest of the oil and uh, get out of here message hmm. okay I'm just gonna wait a little bit hmm. nasty <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna leave this for now and uh, start the other one. Uh, you know, try to drain all the oil. Have a few drop on the floor. Okay. I'm going to try right away with the top. Okay. <laughs> you mean the oil looks like? Looks good for a 20 year? Ah. I mean, believe it or not, uh, this color can be even after a year or two. Depends how how often you ride, and and especially on the, on the, on, the, on the dirt bikes. Um, yeah, can be can be. I don't know. It's burning. I don't think it's burning. Just you know, all the sliding internal parts are just uh, worn out, and it's all sitting and all uh, in the oil. So. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Oh, the whole bike. Ah, uh, yes, you're right, but um, they not really used it. But yeah, of course, I, I saw a um, 30 year old bike was look like a champ because that was maintained perfectly and properly and. Uh, uh, the, the, the following bike what I'm planning to work on that's uh, also a Honda that's just a regular car cleaning though um, and some uh, I don't know I'm gonna do that um, the guy wants to fix the painting work has some custom paint on it but um, uh, uh, but anyway uh, that's a uh, similar bikes I mean similar age maybe the same age but uh, that looks way better, way different. All the chrome. Oh my god! This is, looks like a brand new oil. I think they just, I think they just filled up because all the all oil was missing. There's absolutely pure clean oil. <laughs> I'll show you guys. I show it. I show it like this. Look. Oh, shaky hand. See? <laughs> so, and that says uh, obviously. The whole oil was missing from the fork, and they just filled it up recently. So, <laughs> all right, little washer like this, and the spring, and but smell smell bad. This oil is smell really bad. <laughs> Even though it's new, it's some, and I'm going to wash my hand right after I finish it. It's not good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't do it. You, you see, I'm I'm pouring the. <laughs> you want me to do it again? It still has some oil in it. <laughs> and the valves is the valves are working and if I move it <clears throat> obviously they just remove the top of the, 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 the fork and they just fill it up because the bottom section and the valves all all uh, pushing out a nasty uh, and dirty oil 
<laughs> and for some reason, uh, the shock itself is just stuck. If I if I uh, squeeze it completely together, I'm not gonna show it because it's still dropping. But uh, basically, stuck on a on a all the way in position. And this position is just and supposed to be come out easily. This is a travel and and it's stuck inside. <laughs> Weird. <clears throat> Weird feeling. I'm gonna leave this also. Just uh, drain all the oil out. And uh, no, do not fall. No. <laughs> Am I gonna just hold it? Well, actually, I don't have to. But I'm gonna wash my hand quickly. <clears throat> And the case is <laughs> I'm still waiting a little bit and in the meantime uh, I had to build, I might have to do it again, I had to build a special tool uh, to reach because down there deep inside the fork, end of the fork, has a, a hex head hole actually where you have to put a, a, a special tool in it so you can hold it and then you can remove the, the bottom bolt so that just, uh, and usually that's why I start to remove it with the uh, with uh, impact gun because that's quickly move, uh, moving quickly and in that case you don't really have to not necessarily have to hold from inside the pipe <sighs> yeah but I know it's going to give me a little hard time but I'm not worried but um, if I have to build a special tool to reach that and uh, I might have to uh, stop the, uh, the stream for that because uh, that can take an hour or two and weld it together so make it properly but uh, in that case I'm going to just finish the stream and uh, see see uh, maybe tomorrow I'm going to start to you know cleaning it and put it together it is what it is unfortunately I'm gonna wait a little bit <clears throat> But, I'm really glad you guys are here, so I'm not talking to myself, <laughs> I'm happy, I'm really, really happy. <laughs> and uh, when I just try to do uh, uh, just a quick recording, how's the, how's the sound actually, how's the, uh, the, the picture and everything, and I heard the car, you know, the, even a, a, a police car with a siren, or even a, just a, heard a, a airplane or even a helicopter. You can hear it clearly. I mean, and uh, I don't know. I hopefully it's not bothering that the, the stream, the, all the noises from outside. But I cannot do nothing with that, unfortunately. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, the good thing is uh, the slider itself, the inner tube is in uh, in, a, in a good shape. There's, there's no scratches on it because uh, some of the bike has a uh, you know it's a lot of mileage and you already can see uh, the scratches. And this one is in a pretty good shape, other than that, but not the not the outer tube. Yeah. Actually, this is moving, but 
I believe. Improvise quickly. I have to improvise. Because kind of not that long. Huh. Let me just figure out something quickly, guys. And. Uh, Maybe I can, I can figure out something. <clears throat> Stay with me. Don't go anywhere, please. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Maybe I can fit in, but. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. What do you say, Kishpili? Let me see. <sighs> oh my god, yes. A lot. A lot of Hungarians here. I don't know how that was true or not. That was like. But last time when I heard it, I was. Maybe. 10 years ago, I heard that. Only in Florida, uh, over 50,000 Hungarian lives. Only in Florida. And I don't know if it's true or not, but I just heard that. Okay, now, dude. Tool one. Another one. I hope that's gonna fit inside. Barely, but fit. You know what? I might have to make a different soup. Barely fits, so I'm gonna remove some part from the tape. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Who's this? LLC, XLRC, LLC. Someone calling me. Okay, voicemail. <laughs> uh, thank god I, I didn't forgot to put a mute because that was like a third phone call all right <laughs> I try not to use hammer man <laughs> but basically you're right I have a nice and shiny one. <laughs> tap it in. Tap, tap, tap it in. Okay. <clears throat> now. Come to Papa. <laughs> oh, the other side. Why this? Oh, okay. Yeah, someone called me, so the... The stream was stopped on the phone. I hope this is size, same size. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> I just saw my face <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> oh, good lord. Let's see. Did I? Is it works? Yes, I think we are saved, but I think still have some oil in it, so uh, let's go crazy. I mean, go slowly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, 
have to do it slowly. Yes. Rodic. Rodic. Look at this house, how long is it? <laughs> there you go, man. Yes, that's the good part. It's a good thing if you can uh, improvise and uh, you don't have to buy for $200 a special tool for this damn fork. And also, if I work on many different bikes, need many different special tools. And in this case, Oh. <laughs> <Kiss Billy. laughs> yeah, everything is a nail. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a nice little uh, lotion on my leg. So I just try not to leave it on my skin this. But And then, still a little coming out, and I try to, usually in from now, uh, all you do, just do like this movement, and basically the seal will come out, and the whole internal parts will come out. And I'm gonna just do it easily. Sliders. And we have one uh, small spring inside. I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm just gonna leave that inside. Um, I mean, yes, uh, I'm going to show you guys what's the deal with the sliders. I was just assuming because of the mileage, maybe the Mileage is not even a correct because someone changed the, the cluster, but uh, <laughs> what was that? Oh, okay, now I see now. Maybe not. Um, Shuba Metalhead, thank you so much for the follow. Did I say it correctly? <sighs> I don't want to be a dick. Sorry about that. You know what? I'm going back to the just over here. Yes, it's gonna be better. So now I'm gonna put this down. Try to clean it a little bit. Just a little bit. You know what? I try to try to show it basically what I'm doing. So I'm just you know clean off the the oil. And this one will come out on the other end basically because the, the bottom bolt was holding from here through that uh, outer pipe actually the lower fork leg and uh, yeah it's still still coming liquid yeah so but basically I just want to show you you know I just want to keep holding this rag under uh, right this moment i'm able to show you guys the lower mm, the lower slider is uh this one this is have some kind of special coating and you see how gray is but we have the other side actually already completely missed completely lo lost the that uh, that uh, mm, i don't know it's a teflon or graphite uh, I don't know what's the material on that surface but uh, uh, and that's the other reason why the oil can be that dirty because that was work too much and the slider actually worn out so uh, yes I have to I have to replace it unfortunately I'm not gonna put this back together if I'm gonna rebuild it I'm gonna rebuild it right so uh, I didn't plan to do this but like following the, the mileage on the bike but I have to 
Yeah, so it is what it is. You see, it's supposed to be nice and gray, dark gray, and uh, and this is actually completely lost it. And this is a, uh, I think it's metal, or I uh, know, I don't think it's a uh, copper. I mean, it looks like a copper because inside is that color, like looks like a copper. But anyway, I need these two. So, and this one. The other, other ring had uh, internal, and this is uh, other one had the uh, outer surface, and this we have the the inner surface. Let's see how it go, how it looks like. This is not that bad. Um, let's see. Oh, actually, yeah, this is in a good good shape, but uh, this is coming as a pair anyway. So, um, and also if not coming a pair, I would definitely replace both. Replace just like a seal and a dust seal. Uh, yeah, because if you can see, try to show it, maybe you can see it. Try not to focus on me, stupid camera. Uh, anyway, yeah, but this is looks good, still good, but um, we'll, I will go to replace it with a new one. And now I'm just gonna put this here, right? Uh, remove the spring. Oh, actually, it's not a spring. Oh my God! Why? Why I just think it's see? That's just a, a little a spacer, actually. Hmm. I'm kind of sad because uh, I thought I'm able to. Uh, I'm going to put this together, but unfortunately, I can't because of those sliders. Darn it! On under it, a few more drop, <laughs> and then this uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, most likely a spray a brake cleaner. I'm gonna clean it nice, uh, nicely inside and um, ready to ready to put it together. Okay, and uh, oh, and this is the the seal. Actually, oh, and the ring is also important. Ring, ring, ring. All right, just like that. Wow! <laughs> you should see my phone is all over, just <laughs> fingerprints, you know, oily hand. Anyway, I'm gonna. Sh I already showed a video about this. Uh, Yeah, this is this is how. Yeah, that's a spring actually, the the small spring. So um, yeah, I need to clean this too. Yeah, this is very very simple shock though. Um, that one, but I have the Marzocchi. Uh, I'm not afraid to rebuild it because I have to. I'm going to re rebuild that one, but that's uh, that's uh, a little bit more performance uh, shock, so uh, uh, adjustable uh, preload and rebound, uh, and it looks way different inside. But I think that's going to be also in a stream. Uh, I, I, I not just because I'm curious. I wanted to show you guys how's that look like. How's how's the performance? front fork look like from inside and uh, how can rebuild it and this one has a seal um, and now if you know the seal is looks nice uh, the you know the, the rubber and the rubber is still uh, soft and still uh, looks acceptable but still uh, I mean is if, if, if the seal is leaking but you have a little I try to come a little bit closer that's all, all is holding actually the oil pressure that's little spring over here and that I did it in a past uh, especially uh, when I was back in uh, Hungary and was uh, you had to oh my god sorry <laughs> I just kicked the camera <laughs> I just I tried to adjust it back uh, yeah so um, 
when you have to order the special seal because it's leaking and even though you want to sell it you know you have a for, uh, for sale bike and you have a leaker fork and you can lose a, a kind of good money because you have a, a leaking uh, front fork but this one is actually uh, you're able to separate it uh, you just uh, counterclockwise you just uh, twist it and you can separate it and this is basically holding the pressure so all you need to do um, you just cut a few circles like um, if you say in a millimeter cut off maximum three millimeter two or three millimeter you're cutting off with uh, with a um, with plier or even with a scissor what is able to hold this is a this is a high you know it's a, it's a, that's a hard steel anyway and uh, all you just need to do just um, hold it good give it an extra twist and then you're able to no shaky hand and you just twist it together and then you you shorter a little bit it's not much but it's good enough and then you're able to use your seal and um, this is just for basically a, not just a temporary because from now on you can you can give extra life for your fork at least another few years because the ho the spring is holding tight again and and when you checking this and um, that's basically the what is the only one important thing if you have this um, edges all around the seal uh, I don't have the proper light to show you know what closer no you have a little edge all around and if it's untouched and no missing uh, um, spots on the edge yeah, that's that fork is actually still can hold but you know when the spring is a little bit loose then that's the reason why you're losing the oil but um, this is just a, a little um, not secret but uh, a quick solution solving uh, stuff and I have to wash my hand again now okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm <doing> here, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I just saw your uh, chat, uh, message here. Uh, Shuba Metalhead. I have a few. Uh, my very first band, the actually rock and roll band, uh, ACDC. Since I'm ten, uh, they my favorite rock and roll band, and then also the rock and roll band Kiss and also i like very very much uh, metallica uh, rammstein slayer but um, i don't really have just favorite like that uh, because um, there's so many good uh, bands all around the globe basically where they uh, give us uh, a pretty badass song so uh, i don't have just like that uh, uh, a very favorite i have a lot of favorite <laughs> <laughs> yes, Andrew, the ring is very, very important. Most important in this case. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The brake uh, brake cleaner is um, um, even when I any kind of internal work is done. Uh, doesn't matter. Just uh, changing a piston, a piston ring, or. Uh, bearings uh, um, crankshaft bearing connection connection rod but um, uh, anything was need to be cleaned before put together that's always a good good uh, because it's dry very quick, quickly um, basically it's not that smelly than than a gasoline and um, so I, I like to use it I like that uh, product <laughs> Oh, Lixon, you mean my bike? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Duck tip and a WD-40. <laughs> uh, the call starter, ugh, yes, uh, but always always gently with it because that can that can cause a problem with the engine if you use too much so uh, that's a very high not high explosive but uh, that's 
the the um, the starter fluid explosion and the, and the, and the burning is way different than gasoline. So always you have to you have to be careful when you use it for a starting. Uh, Lixon, uh, even you can check on my my uh, YouTube. You can you can see it or um, uh, am I able to? No, how can I put it here? No, I cannot. I cannot link any uh, photos. Mm, I don't think so. Wait a minute. I, I'm going to wash my hand and uh, <clears throat> try to figure out something if I can. <clears throat> but um, anytime you can jump on my uh, YouTube. Uh, I'm just washing my hand quickly. Uh, Chitka, thanks so much for the follow. Thanks a lot. You, you can hear my hand washing it. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm back. Um, then I'm going to weld, um, let's see, I was, uh, I was planning to, uh, start creating a full, uh, custom header on my bike. No, 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 I don't want to quit. Huh, I, I almost quit o OBS. <laughs> hey, Bonji, how you doing? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, so uh, uh, not next week, maybe next week, because I definitely want to start um, working on a, on a full full uh, custom header, and I already have basically the the main parts, um, so I can say that soon. You you can hear me. You can see me. Hopefully you cannot hear the machine because it's a very very old welding machine. But uh, yeah, that, and that's definitely gonna be Saturday, a Saturday morning for me. Like I, I'm planning to start like eight, and that's gonna be long. That's definitely long because I'm planning to start from the beginning. You know, all three pipes and uh, basically the full header. I try to put it together uh, piece by piece, and um, because I had a, a, a few. Uh, rocket owner who actually wants to buy one and uh, and also I'm going to build a header and I'm going to build, build a complete uh, system miss uh, miss uh, thank you so much for the follow thank you so much thank you <laughs> uh, yes so welding back to the welding uh, and also, I was, I was just hoping, because this uh, microphone has a good enough uh, noise cancelling. Um, I don't know. Obviously, guys, you can hear it. The little fan is uh, blowing. So, I don't know. How can I figure that out? Mm. Yeah, that's going to be a, a little bit of difficulty to weld somehow. Um, but in the future, definitely going to spend a little... Uh, money to buy what is something way quieter and newer of course a little inverter a TIG inverter so um, but uh, there's definitely a, a plan to build that uh, exhaust on my bike in the near future maybe next week like I said next 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 Saturday so that's uh, it's not 100% yet but uh, but uh, almost <laughs> Okay, now I was um, I was planning to show you the the my bike, but you want me to send the link to the YouTube channel? Or oh, actually, you can find me, uh, and there, uh, yeah, there you can see the bike uh, how's actually look like uh, with the last uh, I don't know which video I was working on my bike, but um, I cannot send at the moment. I don't have any photo on Imgur because other than that I'm, I'm able to s uh, s uh, 
send the link so you can see it. But I don't think I have a buy uh, a rocket photo on uh, on the Imgur, unfortunately. Thank you so much, Vizesh Ninjon Kovac. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I thought you were only following me. Hmm, I was wrong. I thought you... I, anyway, thank you so much. And now... <clears throat> I already separated that one. And the second one, internal stuff. Okay. Now I have to just remove this bolt. <clears throat> I don't know, how can I change that sound? Is there a chance I can change it? That the notification for uh, the follow notification sound? Yeah, I think I can. I think that I, that was my uh, uh, my good idea. I, I did that. Not on purpose, I had no idea that was gonna be that loud. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna try to remove it. Okay. Like this. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Thank you so much, Vizesh Ninjon. Now the Thunderbird was uh, uh, his his uh, that guy. He's Australian. He lives in Australia, but he he saw my bike. You know the <clears throat> the front fairing that was a uh, custom. I made it out from uh, Yamaha, but he liked it so much and uh, he was he was interested to buy it. And actually, he bought it. So, uh, but. Um, I had to build a bracket, uh, a complete holder, how he's able to install it. And without the motorcycle, I had to improvise something. How can I, uh, how can I do that? So, but thank God, very slightly modification was uh, required. So he was able to install it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, Marzoki, yes, that's what I was used. Oh, oh my God! Who was that? Ah, I missed it. I need to. I need to st uh, stay that uh, notification longer so I'm able to able to see it. <coughs> yeah, you know what, L Lixon? I wanted to go with something, and uh, and if I if I uh, upgrading or changing, it's supposed to be better than. That was before because originally uh, the the Triumph use uh, Shova uh, forks, but not adjustable, not a, nothing. You cannot do nothing with it. And uh, I was searching and looking up. You know what? Am I gonna use the White Power? Uh, what I what usually the KTM using that brand. And uh, but that was this is 55 or 56 millimeter the, the diameter, and um, and the White Power was maybe 54. That was a little bit smaller. And uh, but I was lucky with the Marzocchi because that was the same diameter than the rocket, so I don't have to made a, a special uh, custom made uh, triple trees, so I was able to install it easily. So that was a good. Oh, Phyllis Hamrock, yes, thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it, thank you so much. Yeah, I was able to read your name now because um, the the the. the the alert, the follow alert is uh, just like a few seconds and I wasn't able to read it. Anyway, and also I need to change the, the leather, the color of the leather on the follow leathers because um, I was almost white and barely able to read it that quick. <clears throat> uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, that's that's basically you're right. It's full of the the, the bucket is full of with wires and uh, and depends how you change it. You you change it with the uh, smaller or uh, or you double it. You have a d dual headlight. Uh, what kind of uh, headlight you replacing? And but basically you cannot do nothing um, unless uh, you have a uh, some kind of. Hey, Kata Yannick. Hello. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. 
uh, yeah, so um, I heard uh, and saw a few videos how the guy actually built it. Let me show you. Uh, that's how he did it, and that was actually also a rocket like this. This is a rocket headlight, and uh, he used the uh, uh, the LEDs, you know, and the LED bulb is a little bit, you know, have a, a cooling uh, fins on it. So he just actually cut it, cut it, that was actually still straight, and uh, extended it with a uh, he, he extended with an inch. That was an inch for him was good enough. So um, let me see. I can remove this one. I'm gonna show you better. I can show you better. Uh, remove this ring. Yeah, so you can see how this section is still straight. Cut it nicely. You have to cut it, and then uh, build up our uh, extension ring. Um, I think it's like five and a half inch, five and a half inch, and you just weld it back nicely. You know, grind it off the welding uh, marks, and uh, and you have basically a deeper light because you extended it, and that's the that's the easiest way. And uh, I don't know if that helps for you or not, but if you can do it, I cannot. I can do it for you. So um, that's definitely an uh, uh, option. Let's see. Yeah, shadow. And uh, you live here where you live. You live in the U.S. I'll put this back together. Ah. <laughs> No, why? Because it's uh, aluminium. Or uh, why? Why this option would not work? I'm curious. What kind of headlight is that? If I if I would see it, yeah, I definitely have uh, a few more ideas. But I, I would love to see it for. Oh, Texas. Okay, that's not that far. We have 1,200, 1,400 miles. You're not that far. So uh, I don't know. You're able to <coughs> send a link. Or, uh, or something like that so I can see it what what kind of headlight is that because um, you know I'm happily if I can I would definitely help <laughs> um, Kati Yaniku, uh, I uh, I don't even know you speak English you, you can understand me if not, if you have any kind of questions, yes, you, you can ask me even uh, even uh, on Hungarian, I can answer, so no big deal, even if I speak English, but uh, I can answer, no big deal, but uh, I'm, I'm glad you're here, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> what did I just do? Um, um, Oh yes, a little bit. Good. Excellent. So, uh, <laughs> if you listen uh, while I'm speaking, and you can you can memorize a few words, and uh, I can be a teacher. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this for now, and I'm gonna try to separate the other one too. <laughs> okay. Just like that. Okay. Try to drain this, maybe still. Huh. Mm, not that bad. So, <laughs> my finger stuck. Oh my God! You guys cannot believe it. How uh, the, the the 
times fly by because it's already it's over two hours already and uh, and I barely did anything so <laughs> now this one the part is what is need to be removed <laughs> Oh, actually, <laughs> it wasn't really hard. <sighs> gone. All gone. And uh, the inner. Oof. It's all rusty in there. It's all rusty. And the problem is when the... Uh, you know, when you have that dust cover, it's all rusty and corroded and not really holding so the water can go in here and uh, the metal spring but actually holding the seal inside the tube uh, that also can you know just completely uh, corroded and not holding any longer and you cannot uh, uh, try to remove it but you know it can be a problem if, if I break it Try to lose it. <clears throat> All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, four hundred kilometer. What? Um. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to lay right. <laughs> ah. Now let's uh, keep playing with this. Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a really bad shape. Ugh. Yeah, so most likely, I mean, it's not most likely, but it looks like. This one is need to be replaced also because um, it's um, very corroded. Um, this clip. I'll try to loosen, loose it up. Um, <clears throat> Santa. <laughs> and uh, who did that? Uh, that's um, all these uh, emotes. Ye hunter doing this on his own or someone else help him? to do uh, you know come up with these uh, little emotes uh, come on come out okay I'm going to try to Oh, let's see now. Let's see what you just sent. <clears throat> ah, okay. Huh. I cannot click on it and just open it on big. Come on, phone. You know what? I'm gonna open it from my computer. Oh, that's sick! <laughs> yeah, it looks badass. On the on from a, a front. Let's see on the side again. <laughs> what kind of headlight is that? That was uh, some on. I was on a motorcycle or a car that was, I would say, like from a 50s, some some used uh, custom made headlight. Hmm. Definitely. Um, and what's the diameter? And what's the full length? Wow, looks, do looks sick though. <laughs> You got from China, but that was that was on some kind of vehicle. <laughs> I 
I'm wondering who can be that Anandoril, who's that uh, graphic designer. I'm wondering who can be that. Nine inch, five inch. And this, that is look like it's full aluminium. Am I right? It's full alloy, uh, cast alloy. <laughs> it's actually difficult to weld, but it's not impossible. Uh, close it. Come back over here. Yeah, aluminum. Uh huh. But it's still still weldable. You still can weld it, but um, but it's already nine inch long. So and it's not enough not enough room to install the wires. All the all the wires that was inside the, the factory uh, housing. Just go back over here. I'm just checking what you sent, uh, Vizesh Ninjon. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Donny. Appreciate it. Uh, yes completely full and even though if you just remove it for uh, changing the bulb uh, it's a nice tricky uh, and time wasting <laughs> hour can be when you just basically able to install it back yeah uh, all basically all the Japanese I was I was ever work was the same thing doesn't matter Honda Yamaha uh, Kawasaki same thing the whole housing is full of with wires <laughs> Oh, Mr. Gubber just went on live. All right, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how's uh, how's this long headlight looks on uh, on a bike. I would definitely just try to put it there because nine inch, nine inches is pretty long. Um, and also, uh, but e even if you extend it, that's that's gonna be. I I think you would just make it worse. They definitely have to come up with some uh, another solution to hiding those wires. Make a secondary box, what is you can hide it and make it not visible. All right. Um, Donny, how you feel today? How are you? I'm not doing anything. I'm just, I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm just wasting your times. <laughs> no, anyway, I'm still, still playing with this. Um, I have to remove this. Um, and, I, and after that, if I'm able to remove it, I show you. How's it supposed to look like, and how's this actually look like? Yeah, so oh, I was lucky. Yeah, so um, this is how it's supposed to look like. I'm just gonna clean it from the oil. Try to. The link I've sent you, okay. Oh, I, uh, let me just check it. I'm gonna show you this first. You know, this is how it's supposed to look like. I'm just gonna come out from the uh, from the focus. Um, and this is how's the other one look like. Okay, no, not good. Uh, you know what? It's, I'm gonna go back to the OBS because it's uh, the delay is killing me. Yeah. I don't know, I tried to put on focus and this is how's the other one look like, it's so tiny, oh no, come back a little bit, uh, I don't think I'm able to show you guys unfortunately, darn it, oh yes, now, 
Yeah, you can see the difference. How tiny corroded is the other one. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's the reason why I had to replace it because it's uh, not holding strong enough and it's already already damaged. So uh, and now I will do the same, just like I did with the other one. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna try it. I have to. Like this? Let me see. Okay, back a little bit. Oh, okay, way better. Thanks for the back seat. <laughs> you know what? Always learn something. <laughs> okay, let me see uh, that uh, designer what you just sent on Andoril. Let me see. Okay, open, 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 open. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so she's a, a graphic designer. She did all these. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. I, I, I understand you. Um, yeah. See, the bobber is basically <laughs> as many things you're able to remove. Yeah. That's that's how it's supposed to look like. Uh, but in the meantime, I try to just think if if I can come up with something else. Um, what, else? what kind of wires in there? That's definitely for a headlight, the bulb. Um, oh, and obviously for the uh, the turn signal and everything. And you, you, you're you going to keep your turn signals? Or are you going to remove those? Or you're going to remove those? Yes, I ask you, yes. <laughs> Danny, I ask you. But I'm glad you're okay. And I, thanks, you, you're here with me. Thank you so much. Oh, they are gone. So you have less wire basically, uh, but still, I, I think it's still not enough room in there. And how's your bike looking though? Uh, you know what, Danny? Yes, uh, sometimes uh, give me a hard time this uh, autofocus, but um, <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to adjust it because basically, especially in my case, you know, I'm working here and there, and and uh, and always, always, you know, give a good focus and uh, and uh, try not to over adjust it because uh, I, I, I usually I, I always make it worse. So I just I <laughs> leave it that way. <laughs> Uh, my next bike here, uh, Hamrock, that's gonna be also a shadow, um, and it's also a bobber. I'm, uh, I'm curious if you're gonna see me on uh, working on that one. Uh, what, what do you say about that bike? Because for me, it's not completely ready bobber. I, I would definitely do a few more stuff, what is make it more bobber uh, style. But uh, I'm curious how yours look like. <laughs> okay. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? I was just thinking. Um, I'm just thinking to um, cut this off. If you guys don't mind, am I gonna use a, a grinder for a for a minute or two? Um, because usually this is helpful you know what I'm gonna put that there because usually this is helpful if you have the 
head like that but not in this case so all I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this <laughs> snap on <laughs> head because I, I ha it has to be perfectly straight to fit in because the bolt oh good lord the bolt head is so small anyway and it's, it's not going to uh, in there deep enough so that's why I have to damage this one so um, I'm going to, going to cut this off quickly if you don't mind am I going to mute this so you're not going to go crazy and I'm going to check this quickly your uh, your bike and then I'm just going to mute the uh, mic for a second until oh my god that's sick <laughs> yes that's that's nice really nice And that's a big ass headlight. That's not even a factory. Oh no no, just a ring around the headlight. Nice, nice job. I'm impressed. And just you know, it's not supposed to be. You not not, uh, not necessarily have to be a Harley. Even the the Japs, you know, if you if you have some good uh, imagination and you can create something, and it's yeah, that's sick, really nice. And what year is that though? Because that big headlight, I think that's older, like in 80, 88 maybe? <laughs> yeah, I believe you. <laughs> of course they like it. <laughs> Even though Harley can be nice too, but I rather um, stick with the Jap Japanese because that's more reliable than a Harley. I can say that. Oh, 2004. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And is that big headlight? Huh. Oh, and that was a that was a ace because I think this is a spirit, yeah. And uh, and the ace had a you know a little bit different, bigger headlight, bigger. Uh, they changed a little bit. There was a bigger, uh, different looking. I think that was a ace. Am I right? Oh, huh, ace seven fifty. Okay. But it's a good, good modifications, good, good, uh, good looking bobber. And that's a rear rust or a, or an airbrush, fake rust on the gas tank. I don't know what they shoveled in their bucket. I mean, it's not, I mean, yeah, of course, it's a lot of uh, um, wiring can go, but what? Well, you cannot remove anything, you cannot uh, just make it disappear <laughs> i mean you don't have a you don't have a, a turn signal what else goes in there hmm. okay i didn't forgot something yes yeah now i'm gonna do that um call this tool to make it work for me i hope it's going to work so um You guys stay with me and uh, <coughs> it's gonna change the blade quickly <laughs> safety first <laughs> and I just come back here. And then pull. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Good idea, you did it good. I mean, you put on beer and um, and just let it rust for a day or two and then you put a clear coat on it or just, lift, uh, just left it that way. Or you have clear coat on it. Nothing else, you can't let it, you know. Hmm. 
And uh, da uh, Donny, when uh, before I bought this camera, I was I was just look up. Uh, yeah, clear foot. Okay. Yeah, I was looking up the um, the options, but uh, I didn't want it to go in this case with the uh, DSLR because uh, because that's my camera is mirrorless, and uh, basically can able to uh, almost able to give that uh, picture quality and video quality. Uh, you know, than than the DSLR, but uh, but it's still still better option than uh, in my case because uh, like 99% I'm using for video making and the DSLR is not really good for uh, for um, video making just just basically for photo I'd say. Oh, my phone is getting to die. Uh. Okay, now. Uh. I'm just gonna mute this until uh, using the grinder and, 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 and I will come back. Just a minute. Yeah, I'm here. I just cut it off easily. <laughs> Now it was faster than the focus. I removed it quickly. <sighs> Things, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to sharp here. Um, what is this, Danny? What you just sent? That's a link? No, no, no. It's not the link. <laughs> Sasu. <laughs> I don't know who are you talking about. <laughs> I have no idea, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't make me blush, man. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just put this here for now. And uh, I'm gonna put this here in my lap. I'm gonna slide in this big ass tool. Okay, I have to tap it. Oh yes, I'm in Florida. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Sasu. How are you today? Wait a minute, what time is it at home? Um, two, three, oh, still not late. Still good. Okay. Okay. Hold the other one. Do you see my nice face? That was... <laughs> oh, hey, Cognes. How are you doing, man? I'm just fighting with this bot. Don't mind me. Difficult to move, and I, I already twisted. Uh, the bolt is already moving, but uh, still not enough, unfortunately. I'm loud. Am I loud? A little bit. This one is not really want to work with me this time. Okay, now. Um, let me just figure out something. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Sasu. Uh, 
I'm here. <laughs> Hey Zoli, we are Zoli. Thanks for stopping by. Ta -da! <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, and Sasu, uh, are you sick? Or just getting sick or just coming out? <laughs> yes, you're right. Easier to uh, handle the virus on a computer than, uh, than in a real life. Especially in this case, if uh, you talk about like uh, Mr. Gobber. Uh, he was sick like a dog. I think he's still sick. I mean, no, 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 maybe he's better now But um, he's definitely no good Shush, shush, shush Hmm I mean, yes, um, I just removed it. So it's, this is also worn out, so But anyway The good thing is it's already out. Don't close phone. <laughs> so, Sasu, obviously. That's your favorite food, the bacon. <laughs> okay. Let me just see inside how it looks. Stuffed cabbage. Yeah, I think last time when I ate that, that was definitely uh, over a half half years ago. So it, I think it's time to <laughs> ask, and uh, I can eat it again. I like that. Oh, that's one of my favorite food. Mm. <laughs> okay. Now, I turn it upside down so the rest of the oil able to just come out. Let's check the other one. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Turn it upside down. Put a rag under. And uh, hmm. okay. <clears throat> Ooh. It's so so dirty inside this um the, the lower fork tube. Hey Mamut Khan. Thanks for stopping by. How are you today? On this lovely afternoon, evening. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Okay. <clears throat> and do the same thing, just leave it upside down. And uh, Hmm. Let's 
Ωραία, να το κάνουμε out. <laughs> Mammut come. Oh, yeah. I think I do the same. I'm gonna drink a nice uh, glass of beer when I finish. Go home. And uh, I think I'm going to still have. Yes, uh, I'm going to dress up uh, several trees at the front of the house. You know, prepare for a Christmas. So I, all the lights. Has to go on to the not all of, not on all of the trees, but at least uh, four or five trees need to be lit up. So that's my uh, afternoon, late afternoon project. <laughs> and uh, what kind of beer was that? The, the 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 brown beer, the dark beer. What was that? This should come out. <laughs> One beer is no beer. <laughs> oh, finally, the stupido. All right. This is out also. <laughs> Ó, oh, hogy uh, milyen sört ittál? A barna sör milyen volt? Milyen márka? Alright. Oké. Okay. One bolt. Oh, we don't have no music any longer, but I think... Basically, I always uh, the uh, finish soon anyway, so I'm not gonna uh, start another song. Um, need to, I need to take a little break. So, mm -hmm. just gonna clean my hand a little bit. Oh, okay. I never heard that. Hmm. The Czech beer, uh, my favorite is the Spaten. Wait a minute, did I say right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like wheat beer. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> now, most most of the time, I drink e either German or Belgian Belgian beers. Yeah. I like the taste and it's strong enough. Pretty good. <clears throat> oh yes, you, I think you're talking about when it's getting warmer. No, the beer, that's why you cannot uh, drink it later. Okay. Now, guys, I think I'm going to just finish here today, and uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is Saturday, yeah, and looks like tomorrow I'm going to <clears throat> put it back together, yeah, and uh, in the meantime, I have to order. Oh, yeah, no, no, I cannot even put it together. Oh, my God, it's so stupid. I have to order the parts, and I don't think no one has this uh, slide sliders on stock. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Sunday. If I'm able to get it overnight, maybe I'm able to put this together on Sunday. If not, then it looks like it's going to be Monday. Uh, but in the meantime, if I can do something else, I will definitely let you know. Uh, what can I come up with? But definitely, I'm not able to remove this from the lift until it's ready. Unfortunately, uh, it is what it is. But uh, thank you so much to being with me this long, and uh, you guys can enjoy the rest of your day and uh, enjoy your weekends. Um, and as and as soon as I'm, I'm I, I know when I'm gonna come back for a next live uh, I definitely let you know okay 
and if you have any questions before I leave <laughs> Visage Ninja <laughs> <laughs> what is the water? <laughs> uh, Lixon, yes, thank you, appreciate it, and thanks all of you guys. Uh, you stay with me here, and um, and uh, come back with with more. <laughs> and good night, good night, all of you. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sasu. Is Vega, uh, Vega, or are you just starting it? <laughs> yes, thank you so much, another rail. Um, I'm glad you were here with me. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yes, so I really hope because always, if I look it up for any kind of part, I always look up maybe locally maybe if if they have some uh, Miami store uh, some local store near like 50 mile radius I might just call them right away I just go there get the part so in but in this case I don't know I don't know it's a very common part because not just the shadow using the same part and using the same uh, size of fork actually even the Yamaha using the same bag because when I bought the 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 seals it's not just the Yamaha using it so Hopefully, hopefully they have uh, some some uh, honking. <laughs> uh, yes, again, thank you so much for watching me, and uh, see you next time. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>